not no direct wheel over there. <laughs> <laughs> he won't give you held up in there. You don't leave that on. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how Well, you know, there's, uh, you know, th they don't really practice defensive medicine anyway. And the doctor was like, "Yeah, of course they practice defensive medicine. Look at the amount that a doctor pays." And um, and then this gentleman asked a very good um, question of him. But before that, he said, "You know, I did my research. Um, this person, this is what uh, President Obama then, um, I don't know what it was in 2003, it wasn't State Senator Obama." was for a single-payer thing. And then there were some other quotes that he had about how um, people in his administration were for a single-payer, but this is the first step, and it could take 10 or 15 years, but if you keep the hoe, you'll have a single-payer system. Uh, but I don't think we're going to be able to eliminate employer coverage immediately. There's going to be potentially some transition process. I can envision a decade out or 15 years out or 20 years out. I happen to be a proponent of a single-payer universal health care plan. A single-payer health care plan. Universal health care plan. That's what I'd like to see. Uh, I think if we get a good public option, it could lead to single-payer, and that's the best way to reach single-payer. So the guy looked at me, uh, at, uh, not David Price, but um, Brad Miller, and said, um, uh, how can we trust you? that you won't, um, you know, go along with this single payer thing. And he said, I don't care if you trust me or not. Oh. It has got to a point where I do not care if you trust me or not. And I don't know about you, but as a constituent, I'd like to know that I can trust my congressperson. Yeah! Um, but he never really answered a question. Um, it's not that he was dancing it. He just doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm sorry. I mean, we had to say numerous times that, you know, we're our, you know, your constituents. You know, we are your, you know, your folks. And you need to hear it. Well, I've just heard so much stuff on, you know, on the Internet. Like, we're sitting in front of you. We're not on the Internet. He really didn't have any solutions except, you know, uh, let the bureaucrats in Washington do it. We asked him. You're going to require people to have health care. Yeah, yes, you have to have health care. And I'm like, you're crazy. What do you mean you're going to require me to have health care? This is another groundbreaking thing. He said, I'll sign up for the public option. But don't forget, his uh, regular house is assessed at $691,000. And his beach house is, is assessed at $619,000. So 
He's got $1.2 million in real estate, so he's probably got enough money to pay for his stuff. So he's not a perfect example. And here's what he said. He goes, why do we have to slam it through? He said, well, back in 1912, the president wanted it, and back in this time, and it's like, um, here's what he said. He says, when you're, when a coach is winning the game, and they're doing well, you don't call timeout. Which but I am going to personally dedicate the next year of my life to making sure that Brad Miller is not the representative for this district in North Carolina in the next election.